the era of the likes of a Christopher Taylor and a Tyreek Wilson and a Michael Stevens and even a Kimar Farkasen who has um, set records at 800 meters. It's easy to see how you can be overshadowed. But in Kevro events, then, you're looking at a young man who's never lost at champs in the 1500 meters from class three. He's never lost at champs in the 5000 meters in the two times he's done that event. He's won two Karifta titles as well. And uh, this is going to be a great race because Aaron Tanui, representing Kingston College from Kenya, is in the field. Met Calabar's Kimar Farkasen in the 1500 meters last night and it was a terrific race went right down to the wire and it was Farkasen who won it but I must admit Tanui showed a little bit more speed than I expected also in this lineup is Arya Mania Rogers who has been beaten by Venson the last two years last year of course we know that he had injury concerns and wasn't at his best but in 2018 in the 5000 he was well beaten let's not forget that this story with Arya Mania Rogers started in 2017 when he first came to Jamaica lots of hype around the Ugandan and at 1500 meters where he was the favorite Kevro events as a first year class 2 athlete beat him and that victory really propelled the Calabar to the Montemagetis Trophy that year. Vincent hasn't looked back since. Rogers had a great 2018, not so good at 2019. He struggled this year as well, but here he is in this lineup, ready to go with Tanui, his Kingston College teammate. Vincent is a fabulous tactician and watch him come right up on Ari Rogers. This is not a man that Ari Rogers likes to see in any race. And Vincent wants him to feel his presence early in the contest. And that's exactly what he's done. He's gone right up behind him because he wants Rogers to know that he's there. This is a little unlike Vincent because he doesn't usually go so close to the front so early in a race. But it's an interesting start, I can tell you that. Rogers, of course, also does football for Kingston College, although he took more of a back seat this season in the Manning Cup. Last season, he was really involved, but uh, he got injured on the back end of last season. In fact, there was a, a period of time that there was some uncertainty around his availability for champs last year. Because barely made it back, mm -hmm. barely made it back did Arya Mania Rogers, but you have to give him credit that he actually went out there and yeah. performed because many others would have decided that with the type of injury he had, it made sense to just let that one go, having already achieved so much, but he wanted to contribute to his team's victory as it turned out. A source from Kingston College actually told me that He's called Rogers Armania, as opposed to the other way around, that Armania is actually his surname. But, you know, whichever name you call, you know exactly which athlete you're speaking of. And Rogers is in second spot, now make it third at the moment. Very interesting tactics here from Kevroy Vincent. So he took the lead. He pretty much stopped to allow Aaron Tanui to go ahead of him. Aaron Tanui will feel a lot comfortable as the, at this 5,000 distance than he will at, let's say, the 1,500 meters. But as I said, very impressed with him last night when he went toe to toe with Kimar Farkasen at 1,500. At the stage of the race, with 200 to go, both of them together, you would have expected Farkasen to easily get the better of him, to out-sprint him. It was close all the way to the line, and so he'll have some amount of confidence in his foot speed. Vincent is fast as well too, though, and so he will probably have even more confidence. Not only that as well, we see this in the long distance running where it, it helps also to run in pairs. It's, as, it's part of the tactics as well as to prepare for races like these. Yeah, that's the advantage as well that Kingston College will have at this moment because both Tanui and Rogers are there. Not seeing so much of team tactics just yet, but that could play a part at some point in this race. Hines of Calabar is in fourth spot, by the way. It's Venson who is in second spot at the moment, sandwiched by the Kingston College African runners. Yeah, this has the makings of a real terrific race. Tanui, Vincent, 
Rogers in third position. Steve Hines in fourth for Calabar. He's actually the Calabar number three, almost being groomed to take over when Vincent leaves, when Rivaldo Marshall, who finished third at 800 today, leaves. And he finds himself in fourth position with the JC boys and Noel Ellis of Campion College in that second pack as yeah, well. Yeah, that second pack. So meters behind now as Vincent retakes the lead and is trying to stretch the advantage. Yeah, look, look at this again. Look at this again from Vincent. This is part of why Vincent is so special and so difficult to beat because he is testing the Kingston College athletes in every possible way. He quickens the pace, he slows it down, he allows them to come closer to him, he pulls them out again, and he's confident that he can do this for 5,000 meters and still have enough left in the closing stages to have a strong sprint finish. I, I guess the question is now how will they react having seen Vince make this move yeah Tanui he is from Kenya so if he is running in that type of system you would expect him to see this type of running this is the type of running at the very highest level that you see a lot from the Ethiopians and the Kenyans especially when they are running in pairs and they take turns to go to the front and quicken the pace and slow it down that's what Vince is doing all by himself and the Kingston College athletes are struggling to stay with him. Now, what do you do in a situation like this if you are Tanui, if you are Ariamani Rogers? Do you try and go with him every time he quickens the pace? Or do you have confidence in your own race strategy and your overall plan that the race being 5,000 meters and still with so many laps left, you will be able to reel him in? Which leads me to my question, Ricardo. We have Ari Rogers, we have Benson, we have Tanui. The record is 15-11. Do you think it's in threat today? Unless he does seem in a very good mood. He doesn't usually run for times, Kevroy Vinson. For him, it's usually about the win. Nine and a half times out of ten when he's competing, it's about winning the gold medal. Tonight, though, seems to be about something else. I'm not sure what it is. It could be about sending a message and sending a really strong message. Let's be quite honest. You also have to think about the fact that Calabar, let me not say they've had a bad meet because they haven't had a bad meet. They've not turned up in some events and so on. But if you get an opportunity to send a strong message right here, then you do that. And I feel that's what Vincent is trying to do at this stage. Look at this. The lead is about 60 meters. And it is Tanui, who is in second spot at the moment for Kingston College. Rogers is in third. But Venson is in control at the moment. Yeah, Kevroy Venson will go down and should go down as a, a champs great, a high school great, certainly in these distance events, because he's had such a noteworthy career, as I said, unbeaten at 1,500 meters from he was in class three. Um, one in class three, one twice in class two, has one in class one. So he's unbeaten for four years, over 1,500 meters, unbeaten at 5,000 as well, this distance, where he's also twice the Carifta Games champion, Kevro Evenson, at 5,000 meters. He's beaten Ariamania Rogers, who is a tremendous competitor at his best and he beat Rogers at his best, not once, but twice. When he beat Rogers at 1,500 meters in 2017, it was said that, listen, in any case, Rogers is really a 5,000 runner. And so the, it seemed like there was a specific plan to send Vencer to the 5,000 to take on Rogers. He beat him there as well, and that was, that. That was a terrific race at Champs a couple of seasons ago, by the way. And here he is once more employing a strategy that we're not used to seeing from him will it work out or will Tanui get back to him on the five laps to go in this intriguing contest and I must tip my hats off to these athletes training for something at the 5000 is grueling when you talk about miles put 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 under the belt of these athletes it's incredible yeah absolutely incredible and Vincent has he taken the race away from the rest? We knew Ari Rogers was not in great form. Tanui, 
is the one who could challenge him here and uh, he's pretty much made it into a different race he's he said to Tanui if you want to beat me you have to come and get me if you're gonna sit back you're not gonna sit back and beat me there's Rogers think he's in third position at this stage with his teammate Tanui in second Rogers, by the way, from Uganda, Tanui from Kenya. Well, the Kenyan has some way to go. Yeah, he's about 60 meters behind the, the leader. And Venson is in charge here. 153.22 is personal best at 800 meters, Kevroy Venson. But he's never really liked the 800 meters in his class three year when he won the 1500 meters. He did not turn up for the 800 meters. He was sick, turned up a couple of days later and won the 1500 comfortably and was in another 800 final at class two where he did not finish. So he's not really a fan of the 800 meters, but at 153. 20, 22, that's pretty good running. 354, 75 at 1500 meters, and at 5000 that he picked up a couple of seasons ago, 1504.61. Here is Aaron Tanui. Came to Kingston College last season, Aaron Tanui. Actually ran at the Gibson McCook relays when he ran the mile there and uh, finished down in fourth position. He is a much improved athlete one year later though, but he's struggling to keep pace with Kevroy Vinson of Calabar, who might be onto something special here if he keeps going as well as he is. The gap, I think, is about 50 to 60 meters. Yeah, it's closing just a little bit, but you know, outsiders looking on and you notice that Africans are coming into the Kingston College program, especially for these middle and long distance races. You just probably think, okay, it's a gimme for them, but that's not the case. They have had to be work, working really hard to get the better of the likes of Venson and, and Farkasson over the distance of the last couple of years. And Venson, I believe that he's making a deliberate statement here tonight. He certainly has been a main part of denying the Kingston College long distance run as well. He's made a living of Ari Rogers, put it that way. Um, if this was at the professional level, you could say that. And he still looks strong, Kevroy Venson, at this stage. He's made this a different race, and this is impressive because I am sure Aaron Tanoi and Ari Rogers would have been coming into this race expecting Kevroy Venson to sit around with them and try and outrun them in the last two laps or a lap and a half. That has not been the case. This is part of his greatness. A surprise element tonight. This is wonderful from Kevroy Venson of Calabar. What I'm, what I'm getting to know from Venson is that he also has a really good kick, especially in the, the last lap or so. Will we see something similar in this one, especially with the fact that he has gone out so strong? Talk about his kick best in the business at this distance at the Carifta Games. He looked down and out and beaten and with about 250 to go, found a way to win it. He is a special middle distance talent in the Jamaican context. He's proven that over time and he's proving that again tonight. And he's such an exciting competitor to watch as well. Just his running style. I, I don't know, but I love to watch him run. Here is Arya Mania Rogers. He's feeling it tonight, but he is trying to get back to his best. At his best, Ari Rogers, he could challenge Kevroy Venson. But if you're not at your best, then you're going to suffer, especially if Vincent is in this type of mood. So just about 500 meters to go for Kevroy Benson. Um, 12, 16 now on the clock. I believe the record might be threatened here, Ricardo. Yeah, I think he probably is also thinking about going on the 15 minutes. 15, 0, 4. Not seen anyone go on the 15 minutes since Kemoy Campbell. Kevroy Vincent, what a performance this is tonight. Can Tanui get close to him? Two laps to go for Vincent. I think there is some misunderstanding of what's going on. Well, the stadium announcer said two laps to go. And it's still Kevroy Vincent. Yeah, there's two laps to go. Well, that would have been some record. He is lapping. 
He is a tiring, is he? He, he still looks as if he has so much left in the tank. He's been a nightmare for these African runners coming to the land of wood and water to parade their skills. Trying to spot Tanui. He's even further back. The Kenyan from Kingston College. I have a feeling Tanui has given up here. One lap to go. The lead is well over 100 meters now. It's 13.54 on the clock. If Venson wants, he could run a personal best here. His PB is 15.04. But as I said, he's not usually a competitor who runs for times. It's all about running to win, running for the gallery, exciting think, the crowd. I think he's going for it, though. He has stepped it up. Definitely is, and he's being cheered on now by his teammates who seem to be scattered around the track. He meant business. Remember, he came into this meet only to do one event, and that was the 5,000 meters. Has 200 to go. He is going to break the record. I think he should break the record. Will he run a personal best as well? Can we get sub-15 inside the national stadium? We are going to get it. He goes for home. All eyes on the clock. It's a brilliant run by Kevroy Benson of Kanapar. He's tops his class. 14.55.65 seconds. He smashes the Kopitara record. He basically ran by himself. But he stands apart and stands alone. 14.55.65 for once I can say remember this name Kevroy Fenson of Calabar is special and you can see what it means to the entire Calabar unit 14 55 67 it's not the time that so much stands out to me tonight when it comes to Kevroy Fenson but it was the strategy the tactics because you can come out here and win, but sometimes how you win can have a greater impact on your opponents. And can you now imagine what Aaron Tanui and Ari Rogers are thinking? Look they were the not expecting faces. that. Look at the shock. The 1500 with Kimar Farkasen was close last night. That was not close. That race was finished from about five or six laps in. That was an incredible piece of running from Benson. It really was the measure of this athlete, of this particular athlete, on showcase inside the National Stadium. And Rogers had no answer. I mean, he needs to get back to full fitness, but he needs to go even the next gear in order to catch Benson after this performance. Well, I tell you what, one thing that these African athletes have done is that they have made the 5,000 meters attractive in the land of wood and water because the truth is, before them and before him, after Kemoy Campbell, nobody really watched. But even when you had Kemoy Campbell, it was more about how fast you would go rather than competition, rather than rivalry. This is about competition. This is about rivalry. This is about proving a point. That's what Kevro Evanson has done almost every time he's taken on these African runners from Kingston College. You can't get it better than taking on your arch rivals in Kingston College and trying to make a greater point about the quality that is here in, in the Jamaica. land of wood and water. And that's the point I was right, because even the neutrals looking on would probably even support this Calabar athlete, Venson, because it's a matchup also between Jamaica and the Africans. So I tell you what, it's a statement made on a number of levels tonight.